Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Let's get it, baby. You already know what time it is. Let's get it. Happy Tuesday. It's time to get this money. I see you. I see Florida is in the building. Everybody, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. We coming in hot. This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. So let us know where you're from because we already know you we going, family. You're going straight to the promised land. I see Jamaica is in the building, South Beach, Tampa Bay. If you coming in, let everybody know where you're from, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. I see Houston is in the house. I see Miami is in the house. Alexandria, Louisiana is in the house. Nebraska, we got Florida in the building. We got Chicago, Texas, Dallas. We got... Come on now, Connecticut. We got Delaware. Oh, yeah. Somebody said Sparta, Georgia in the building. Vegas is in the building, too. Oregon, New Jersey. We love it. Now, let's get it, baby. Let's see what's going on in the market because you already know what time it is. So, also, if you are not in the Discord, hit the link in the top of the chat. Make sure you join the Discord so when we jump into a play, and remember, we don't always jump into a play, but if I see a price I like, I strike. And I'm starting to see some strength on the market, baby. I know you're seeing it, too. So, Come on now, let's get some movement going. Hit the Discord link, come join the family. The family been growing like wildfire, we love it. Now, check it out. So, just the other day, Neo was flat, straight up, straight up. Most of the day it was flat. But now, look at this, gapped up in the aftermarket. Maybe even, was this a pre-market? Nope, aftermarket gapped up. And look at that, bow, let's get paid, baby. Let's get paid, we love to see it. But again, if you think they're getting delisted, what you got to do is be prepared, not surprised, and be smart. If you think Neo's getting delisted, you sell when you up. Don't sell when you down. Make it make sense. Okay, now, let's see what's going on, family. Come on now. We love to see it. I'm looking to get into some type of a play today, so just know, if you're not on a Discord Live with us, it's time to get up on that. But here we go. You said Discord family in the building. I love to see it. Okay, also, we got to see what's going on with the total market, the SPY, SPY. SPY is currently at 463.98, but they gapped up too. A lot of the market switched around when the market was closed, a lot of it. But this video is named Shiba Inu, so let's get over Shiba Inu, AMC, and then let's talk about NEO, and then let's see what's going on. First of all, Shiba Inu is three zeros, 37. Like I told you in a previous video, what you have to do is buy it. On a support line, one support line was 32, another support line was 30. So you had a chance to ride that up all the way to 37. Now remember, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. Ron said he watching the ads for the GOAT. I appreciate you, family. That's love. <laughs> and shout out to y'all for keeping the lights on in this piece. Sending your boy a super chat. I appreciate the love, family. I know you don't have to do it, but you choose to. So let's see. Who is that? Tennessee in the house? Keep it. Look, I'm green because of you. Let's get it, baby. And we got Wood Alston joining the family. Let's go. Let's get it. Now, let's keep it going. Yep, four zeros and then 32, four zeros. Right now, we at 37. So you see what time it was. So you see you joining the Discord today. I'll see you over there. All right, check it out. Now that we're at 37, we bounced up a little bit, right? So we got 32, we had 30, but let's keep it going and let's see what's going on with all of the facts. So let's go over and let's check out Coin Market Cap. First of all, you know what we haven't checked out in a while? It's Shiba calculator online let's see what they got going on we have not looked at them in a while let's reload this and see if we can get like a fresh okay so total tokens they got 589 trillion okay that's cool they got the right price the market cap that's good too with this current amount of coins that they're saying exists in order to get shiba Inu, to get one shiba Inu to equal one penny let's see what we have to do Let's see. One penny. So that's crazy. That, that's, that's a crazy increase. Let's say to get it to three zeros, we would need it to go up 168%, right? And the market cap, if it got to three zeros, that's a rather reasonable market cap if you want to compare it to where Dogecoin was. Because Dogecoin got literally like to the 90s, 95 in market cap. This is only 58. So this is totally possible. And again, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Shiba Inu. I'm just giving you the facts. But... In order for us to get back up to, let's call it even 60, let's call it, yeah, let's call it 65 or so. Just about almost doubling from here, right? 65, four zeros and 65, right? We would need a market cap of 38, so we need not too much money in, but almost double. Okay, now, let's keep it going. Let's check out coin market cap to see what they got going on with this coin. So then we can see how many people are up at this current moment, because that's actually important. 
because it tells you about the resolve of everybody else who was in. Because generally when people are down, guess what? You say, keep bringing the Keenan. I got you, family. I got you. I got you. And somebody said it's not happening for the penny, but at least you know why. Because you see how high that has to get for it to get to a penny. Because, again, we keep it real, we keep it raw. You be the judge. But I'll show you what happens and how it could happen or how it won't happen because it's unrealistic. And I'll let you be the judge. Shout out to my guy Raymond in the comments. Appreciate you, family. So, check this out. At 4-0-3-7-3-1, we're up 8%. Let's go and let's take a look. The circulating supply, remember, the total supply and the circulating supply are different. This is talking about the total supply. How many are not in that burn wallet? You see what I'm saying? How many are not in that burn? Whoa, whoa. Is Neo popping again? Again, again, again? Please tell me that. We just talked about that. Maybe you're talking about what I was just talking about. Hold up. Let's get it, Neo. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. But let's go back. Because notice, family. No, I, Look, if you're in the Discord with us, you already know what time it is. When the market opens, I want you to please... Please look at, please look at your Neo call for me. Please, let's see what we, let's see what it is. Please, please, please look at it for me when the market is open. Because when the market closed yesterday, this was 32, and now it's headed to 34, so it's up $2. Remember how I told you in the Discord about Delta and Gamma? I want you to just take a look and see where it is after this. So we went down from 30%. We didn't even average down at all. We could have averaged down and been up way more, but watch that. But let's see. This is just pre-market. Let's see what happens when the market is open. Because notice, sometimes in the pre-market when things rush up, they'll come back down. But you know what time it is when they come down. Come on down and pick us up. But let's keep it going and let's get this one out of the way. So, Shiba Inu, again, let's see. We were just on coin market cap. Let's see. At this current price, 40373 with a circulating supply of four or 549 trillion. This circulating supply, what does it mean? <laughs> you said because of me, you still have Neo. Family, come on. I'll tell you the facts. You be the judge. Discord, how do you join? It's in the top of the comment. I pinned it. I pinned it, and it's also in the description. But check it out, family. Now, the circulating supply is how many can be traded. You see what I'm saying? But the total supply, because remember, some of them are, you could call it being staked. Some of them are all of these kind of things when they're just not in a circulating supply, right? They just, you could call it in a sleeping wallet, right? Just think of it like that. But they're not circulating right now. But other than that, that's not even that much that aren't circulating. But check this out. Let's look at the holders. Let's look at the holders. And let's see, this black hole wallet, we talked about this time and time again. This is the dead wallet where, and I can't zoom in enough because you won't be able to see it. This is that dead wallet where it's 410, 255, and this number is changing. So every single day, family, I want to say in the last two weeks, there was about 200 million Shiba Inu burned. Gene Thornton, the GOAT in the building. I love it. <laughs> Yo, good round of applause for Gene. Said, Mr. Family Daily, you said you back to work after six month medical leave. Come on now, I appreciate you for that. You said Raw's form, let's get it. Gifted, come on now, come on. I appreciate you. You've helped so many. Gene, I always appreciate you. I come on, I know, I know who the real ones are, but let's keep it going. I'm telling you, y'all keep me going. We like to see this though, family. Check us out. This, these numbers here are changing in the hundred million range, right? Five, two, four. These numbers are changing. Not too long ago. This was like 310 or something like that. So in time, in time, we're going to start to see these numbers change. We're going to start to see this five. We want to see it turn into a six, a seven. Why do we want to see it go up? Because that means more coins have been burned and the burn wallet supply is increasing. We want to see this burn wallet, the numbers in it go up. We want to see more coins than 41% of them being burned in that wallet, baby. That's what we're trying to see. Now, let's go into some more details. Let's go to the analytics, or as they say, the analysis. So look at this. In the analysis, at this current point, 56% of all of the people holding Shiba Inu are currently up. Now, personally, I am among them, but if it came down even more, I would be willing to load up even more. And again, when I buy this, I show everybody on the Discord when I buy, so you see what time it is. So now, 9% of the people are basically flat right now, and 35% of them are out of the money. Okay, so let's see this. How long have people been holding? Basically every, almost 90%, we have 81%, fam, let's just keep it flat. 81% of all of the people who are holding this have been holding it for more than what? More than a month. So we love it. And some even way longer. So this range is huge between one month and 12 months. Okay, 
So now let's see too. Before anything else, let's go back and see if Neo is still trying to pump. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we love it. Family, what I want you to do as well is hit the like button. If you have not done so already, we need to get 50% likes. That keeps the stream going, that supports the stream, and it's free 02, free 99, free 07. You see what I'm saying? Hit that like button for your boy. Let's get us to 50% likes. Somebody tell me when we get to 50% likes so I can hit the bow, Don DeMarco button for the. Let's see. You say you hold until we lose a zero or two. Let's get it. Let's get it. And I appreciate y'all for always showing love and always helping us to get to that like amount. Let me tell you one thing too. Why do YouTubers want you to hit the like button? You know that they say that it helps the algorithm out, right? I'm going to tell you it flat out and straight. I, I got to sneeze. Allergies. Hold up. Allergies. <coughs> Bop. Let me, oh, yeah. So, you know, you know how my allergies is, right? I went, I take Claritin. No, not Claritin. I take uh, Zyrtec, basically, every day. I'm not advertising them. not sponsored by them. But I take Zyrtec, generally, right? But it has not been working like that. So, what has happened is I started to try to take the Flonase, which is the shoot, like, the spray one in your nose. Family, let me tell you, that, that joint shoots you straight in your brain. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, <laughs> you got to chill. You got to chill if you're taking that. So, I took it once. I was like, yeah, let me let me chill on that. <laughs> let me chill on that. But, here we go. So, look, Neo. Come on, down. Come on down. What are we trying to do? Let me know. Nope, guess not. Let's see what's going to happen. We had a little pre-market run. Let's see what happens on the open. We got literally one minute. Let's talk Aster. I just picked some of that up yesterday on the Discord, too. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on down, baby. Come on down. Where we at now? We still in the 34s? We still in the 34s? Okay. So now, the market is basically just open now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So now, Neo is, what are we going to do? Oh, also. So we get into a play. Let's look at the spy. Spy is trying to come down. But notice, overall, the spy is trying to pump. Yep. What I tell you, family, I'm back up on that Neo call again. Back up on the Neo call straight up. But it is what it is. Let's, let's chill. So I'm looking for a play right now to get in. Now, I'm thinking of running a strategy that I would have to teach. Oh, let me make sure we don't go on Keenan Grace Radio. You said the facts on the allergy medicines, right? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you take them. Sometimes you got to chill. Okay. Also, look up. I'm looking for a particular play, too. I put it on the watch list. So Disney came down to 151. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Yep. So Discord fam, I'm up again on a Neo call. I'm back up on a Neo call. It shot up. It tried to gap fill. But now I'm up on the call, and let's get money. So now let's see. BBIG. Palantir pumped up a little bit in the pre-market. Look at this. Bow. All right. So Disney has been pushing. I would have liked to catch that, that drop right here, but I didn't. DocuSign. DocuSign did gap up. I was looking at it yesterday down here. Let's see. Metal platforms. We just doing a scan of the charts real quick to see if anything is saying, oh, this is the this is the play right here. So to be honest with you, mRNA is kind of giving signs of a play. Somewhat. Shout out to Tesla. Tesla is getting signs of running a put very short term, very short term. I'm talking like very short term. You never want to bet against like some people be getting put options. What do I mean by that? Getting a put option on these calls and, and all these type of things. I mean, on these uh, stocks that are bangers and they be in puts for like mad long. Nah, don't bet against these plays for too long, family. All right, here we go. Spy. Spy's pumping. Spy's pumping. So I might get into a day trade on the SPY, at least, if not a day trade, a few days. So, all right. The thing about the SPY is Theta is usually trash on the SPY. And what do I mean by Theta? Theta is time decay. 
Okay, so let's see. Spy calls. Spy just jumped up from 43 to 45. The RSI is approaching overbought territory. It's approaching it. It's not there yet. So we could potentially let it cool. DocuSign is trying to push. DocuSign is getting to overbought too. So we could let these things cool off. And then you know what? Come on down and pick us up. Right? If you're playing it on the technicals, you got to play it all of the way. So let's see. Spy getting very close to overbought. Let's see for now. Apple is still pumping, but... And Apple is not even overbought yet. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the strategy I was thinking about was this. Basically, you buy a call and a put. Same strike, same expiration date, right? For example, let's say I was to buy an Apple call. Let's call it 170 on a put and 170 on a strike for maybe two weeks from now. Then you can make money on both ways, right? You don't want to hold this long at all. You'd rather get out in two days or less, maybe even three. But then let's say that one of them runs up, the other one will go down. So then you average down on the one that's losing, right? So then what will happen in that case is on some retracement, you could get up green and then let it go and then let the other one keep doing what it was doing. But you had to see me do that live. So you said you went an Apple put. I think you said put. You said out. All right, yeah, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go back to Disney. No, let's go back to Neo. Let's go back to Neo. We still coming down, baby. Hold up. We started to find some support at 34. Discord fam, still up on that call. Still up on that call. But now I want you to see this. On a technical standpoint, unless some crazy volume comes in, you got to keep it real, you got to keep it raw, right? It's the first 15 minutes, so you can't really chart it. DMAC, yep, exactly. So check this out. You can't really chart it like that, but you can see that it's starting to show weakness. We have this support right here. Support means it's bouncing off of it. So we have a descending line of support. Shout out to Bronx. Shout out to the Bronx family. Do you be on Instagram? Yeah, I do. And my Instagram is right under this. So you see it? I got Instagram and Twitter tagged at the bottom of the screen. So come on, Nia. We want to see you hold this line, baby. Hold. You said Nature's Health has products, natural products, sinus allergies. Emailed. You've emailed me about it? All right. Good looking out, John. Much love. Much, much love. AAPL. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Yo, I'm telling you, family. We were just talking about Apple yesterday, how it's such a banger. Absolutely a banger. Also, AMC. Last time I checked, we over the 30s again, baby. I want to give... <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I want to give a, a special shout-out. I want to give a special shout-out, family. Hold up, let me see. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be the right sound. Let me check. To those who we lost at 25, 26, you cannot sell out of fear. This thing dropped to $25 and people have let it go. And now that it's back at 30, family, they looking to buy it back. They looking to buy it back, man. Where my notepad at? Come on now. We can't be doing that. The game is you buy low and you sell high. We cannot be doing that, family. It's as simple as that. Shout out to Oman in a building. Discord fan, my guy. Appreciate you. <laughs> he said, <laughs> in memory of those paper hands. Oh, man. Salute. Hopefully they, come on now. <laughs> Out of ballot, 3110. I'm telling you, the, the name of the game is buy low and sell high. You don't panic sell. You don't panic sell. If you go into the red and then you panic sell, family, when this thing bounces back up, I want you to think of this. I want you to think of it just like this. If something is selling off, selling off, selling off, just think to yourself. RSI, RSI, RSI. What does that mean? Relative strength index. When you see that thing bounce 
or go all the way into the 30s on the RSI, it's very likely that at least in the short term, it's going to bounce back up. People got the game wrong. You see what I'm saying? They buying high and they selling low. And then they get back in the game high. And then they selling low. So we can't. Come on now. <laughs> we, we can't be doing that. We cannot do that. All right. So Neo is breaking down. Neo is breaking down. It broke the support. But let's see if Apple has also broke down yet. No. No, it's starting to try to peak. It's finding resistance at that 170. It's, start, it's trying to peak. Now, let's see. This is why we don't buy it, like I was telling you earlier, when the RSI is smoking hot, right? Smoking hot. We got our oven mitts on, but we don't want to try to buy it when it's smoking hot. We want it to say, okay, let it cool off for a quick second. You know see what I'm saying? And look, again, like I was saying, mRNA was showing signs of an option play. And look at that, just spiked up $5. More than five dollars, seven dollars. Okay, let's see too. We in the game. Also, somebody asked me about this one. We picked some of this up yesterday. I want to say at like eight sixty or so. So we up a little bit. We picked up the stock over in the Discord. All right. So let's let's keep going. Let's check it. So the market, we want to see. Remember the first 15 minutes. You get an idea somewhat of what's going on, but it's a it's like a really, really shaky idea. You don't really it don't really tell you too much. You can get over overzealous, they would call it. And then you could basically run it like that. Excuse me. Meta platforms, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Neo following that that resistance line, the descending resistance line. But they should find support about right here. And let's see. Let's also see what's happening. BBIG is trying to wake up. Palantir is really trying to wake up. Really trying to wake up. They actually had some good news. Let's see if they pop up right here. Palantir. Uh, let me see. Palantir. Ah, uh, this thing is blocking me. Can't do it. But I'll just read it to you right here. So they got a partnership to tackle the chip shortage. That's pretty much the important thing. That's why Palantir is pumping up a bit. But Palantir is a banger of a company. We knew that from the jump. Okay, now, with the SPY. SPY has kind of found support at 65. Somewhat. Somewhat found support at 65. Okay, so now let's see. And again, also, family, look, when I get a chance... To average down on the Neo call, I'm I'm probably gonna take it because I, I let like ten chances go by that I could have because I wasn't in a rush just to see what it would do. Cause you don't want to average down here when you can average down here. So then I'm just gonna chill. But when I get a good chance, I, I think I'm gonna take it this time. And then ride that wave straight up. Alright. So now let's go back over here to the live so I can see the family. Hit that like button, family, if you haven't done so already, by the way. Let's check out again. I'm not going to lie, family. When I saw AMC at 25, actually, I didn't even see it at 25. I seen it at, like, I want to say 26. I seen it at 26, and then I wanted to run a call, but I was like, nah, let me just hold on to my shares. Just straight up, hold on to my shares. Just keep it simple, because AMC is crazy volatile. How high do I think Crow can go? I think Crow can easily, easily, easily get to $2. However, not overnight, over time. Remember, there's a difference between overnight and over time. Lucid, LCID. I would say Lucid is showing weakness more long term. But again, the fact that they're delivering cars, family, come on now. They'd be all right. Toyota is building a new plant. To make electric cars. Shout out to Toyota. You said never paper handling again. No more. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Round of applause. <laughs> never again, family. I appreciate you. Much love. No more paper hands. No more of that. Okay, yeah. So DocuSign. I'm coming back. They found a lot of support at this 30. They found a lot of support at the 30. They're chilling right now. Disney. I want to get Disney in the 140s for an option, but I might have to do it even sooner than that in an average end. 
Let's see. Neo again is trying to jump. It's trying to, it's still following this downtrend. So every time you hear me talk about retracement, I want you to totally understand what I'm talking about. Take a look at this. So it comes down, it's on a downtrend, right? Retracement means it's holding that same trend and then it goes in the opposite direction really quickly. So it's on a downtrend and then it goes up quickly. Still on a downtrend, goes up quickly. That's what retracement is. It just retraces, but then continues the same trend. DraftKings options. DraftKings, 32. To be honest with you, family, they've been really holding strong now that they got low down here. Like, I think they've experienced the majority of that crazy dip that they had from, like, 70. Yeah, I think they've experienced most of it from, I want to say, what was it, 73? 74. It looks like they've experienced most of it. But again, don't put the farm on this one, family. Don't bet everything you have on one play. So here we go. Spy, still trying to show some of that strength. All right. So Spy, I'm, I'm going to get into a Spy call. But I'm looking to day trade this one. All right. So Discord fam, this is an expiration for tomorrow. Where we at now? 160. All right. All right, Discord fam. Look, I'm getting into. First of all, let me check the open interest before I do anything. Open interest. Crazy. Okay, bet. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, I should chill. The RSI is hot. The RSI is really, really hot. However, I could just jump in and let it let it be what it be for now. It's probably going to cool off, though. I'm not going to rush it. I don't want to set a bad example. I'm not going to rush it. Our side is baking, steaming hot. Come on down, baby, and cool off. But it, it doesn't want to. So I'll get some skin in the game. Discord fam, I'm going to send you this. This is a day trade. This is a day trade, a.k.a. I'm looking to get out of this today so I don't have to deal with data. That data gator. Come on, come on, come on. Come pick me up, baby. RSI. What do I mean by RSI? Relative strength index right here. I want it to cool off. However, notice it's at 70, but it could get to 80. It could get to 90. But it, this would be a risky, this would be kind of like a chasing entry. So I'm not going to do it. I'll chill. I'll come back. RSI, cool off for me. Hopefully that is lower when the RSI, at least the options price is lower for this day trade. Let's go back to, woo, yo, oh, Apple, Apple, family, Apple, Apple is going nuts. You said an Apple put. Apple is now at, I want to say, all-time highs, family. I think Apple just hit an all-time high again. Straight up. Straight up. That's why the spy is pumping, because Apple is going crazy. Let's see. Yeah, Apple is going bananas. <laughs> Yo. If you wanted to get a put option, <laughs> if you wanted to get a put option, yo, that's crazy. That good catch. Yo, that's if you wanted to get a put option, family, at all time highs is it makes sense. But just give yourself a little bit of time. Give yourself a little bit of time. <laughs> but come on down, Apple, because I'm, I'm definitely looking to. Make some money with you. Let me see this. The Delta. And th yeah, crazy, crazy. All right. So Discord fam, I'm going to send you what I'm looking at right now. However, hold up. So you could just see what I'm looking at.
I didn't jump in yet. I'm trying to let it cool off. But I'm going to show you on Discord right now what I'm looking at. Because it's at all-time highs. So that scares a lot of people. And then they jump out. I'm going to post this to the watch list right now. But again, notice we didn't jump in because the RSI told us that this thing is going to retrace. You see? And look, you see that yellow line? I don't know if you can see it on your end, but I want you to really soak up this game right here. I wanted to jump into a call on the Apple, and I wanted to jump into a call on yeah, on Apple. But I wanted the RSI to come back down here. So now, let's see how it holds up right here at this resistance. Previous resistances become new supports. Now, we could get a huge trade or a huge candle. And it's showing some strength. All right, yeah. So I didn't add everybody, but if you're watching this, you can go and check exactly the option that I'm looking at. For Apple. Let's see. Let's go back to the SPY 2 because they work together. Okay, so SPY. All right, SPY. SPY say, yo, I don't care about nothing about no RSI. SPY just straight up just say, look, I'm a pump. Let's see. Yo, Spy is like, yo, come on now. Let's get money. <laughs> Lisa says she got a she doing a put on Apple. Uh be cautious. If you do, give yourself some time. Give yourself some time. Because remember. Not a lot of time. Like, I don't mean like two, three months. I don't mean nothing like that. But I want you to consider if you get a put on Apple, give yourself a little bit of time. But it did break that support. It did. And remember, Apple is a big part of the SPY. I want to say not huge, but like 5%. So this could be an indicator that the SPY is going to start to cool off a little bit as well. Because Apple is a bigger part of it. But again, it's only 5%. So there's a whole nother 95% that's Microsoft, that's... Berkshire Hathaway, all these other kind of things. You said Neo is tanking again. Let's hold off for a second because, again, I do want to see if it's time to either get into, because it could be time to get into a put, like you said. Definitely. You could be right because it broke under the resistance or under the support. It broke under the previous resistance, which is now a new support. But we want to see if it, like, catches itself at this 170, and let's see what happens. Oh, it broke it. It broke 170. 169, 1, and now it's dropping. Okay, let's go back to the SPY and see if the same thing is happening. Not exactly, but it is cooling it down. Like from three, four green candles in a row, and then the red ones are getting more common. So it is cooling it down. But SPY is trying to go, it looks like, for 470 today. Spy said, listen, and look at the RSI. This thing is smoking hot, family. Smoking hot. Smoking. Where is that? It got all the way up to 75. So, yeah, this thing is cooking, cooking. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump into a spy call and a spy put. Same. Oh, no. Spy's coming down. Hold up. At least the option price is coming down. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see what's going on with Apple. Apple could be trying to pull them down. Apple's trying to catch some, some life right here. Spy. I'm telling you, family. Spy said, yo, I don't care about none of that. So, 
Let me show you the spy one I'm get, I'm looking at, family. I'm going to send that to the watch list, too. This one would also be a potential day trade. Same idea as above. So Discord fam, stocks of the week. Not in this just yet. Yeah, I'm telling you, family, the spy is really going nuts. We love it. We love it. Why? Because the mark, the spy is really tracking the best companies in the market. You could think of it like that. You said everything seems to drop around 10 p.m. If you see that pattern, then that tells you that you could potentially get in and make some money. All right, family. So I'm about to jump in. Nah, look at this. Great. Going nuts. Yo, shout out to the spy, man. Shout out to it. Shout out to it. So I'm going to get into a call. Very soon. Now that the RSI is all the way up here, though, at the 80s on a five minute. I want to get into a put, but the strength, it, it grabs the FOMO buyers. That's one thing I want you to remember. The strength, it, it pulls them in. If you're a FOMO buyer, you see this, you see strength, you're like, okay. Like 100 green candles in a row, it makes you want to run over there. All right, so family, the spy one on the watch list that I just showed you. The spy call. I'm going to jump into that call. But then I'm going to jump into basically the same exact put. Let me just double check which one I sent. So we're looking at the right one together. Apple, Spy, yeah, okay. Here we go. And notice, too, the volume is cooling off. You see this? Crazy volume. These green candles are in, indicative of what the volume is. Crazy volume. And then it's getting lower, 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 lower. And then this one, so far, is lowest. But let's look at it on the one minute. Still showing strength, family. RSI is baking hot. It's almost at 80 on the one minute chart. Anything over 70 is high. Anything. Yo, you right. It's climbing a ladder to heaven, family. Look at that. But here we go. We had a little bit of a momentum shift. But I'm telling you, Spy said, look, I don't care about none of that. Here we go. All right, red. Red. What we got? Nope. We got what? One, two, three, four, five green. One red. Spy say, yo, I don't care about red. <laughs> yo, the spy is going crazy. Spy is going crazy. Let's go back to Apple. Apple is showing downtrend signs from all-time high. It's showing downtrend signs and finding resistance at this red line of the 170. Come on, spy. Is this the tip? Is this the tip of the top before the little reverse? Or not even reverse? Retrace? It, it was just a matter of time. It has to cool off. This thing is going crazy. Unless all of the institutions are like, yo, we just all gonna load up and all of the people. So let's see. Neo is dropping. If my average comes down, I want it to get down, uh, let's say 30% before I would average down. On a NEO. Because you see what it can do in the short term. And we let it we let it test these levels a few times. We let it test these levels a few times. Test, right? 
We let it test. We don't rush. Definitely don't rush. All right. Right now, 10%. So let's go back to Apple is trying to show some strength again, believe it or not. But it's still following that downtrend. This is Apple. But let's go back to SPY. SPY, I'm telling you, family, the SPY is really, really like, if you want a SPY call as it stands, you are killing the game right now. Killing it. Killing it. The SPY 470, the SPY 470, if you got in, I want to say yesterday, it's saying you're up a thousand percent. SPY going bananas. Let's look at it what it was yesterday. That's crazy. What, what can be done with the SPY? It's just crazy. All right. All right, yeah, so I'm going to jump in, even though the RSI is baking hot, so I just get some skin in it, because it's, it's pushing. don't care about the RSI. So then let's see. Spy said, nah, I don't care about no RSI, but again, I'm looking for... To be honest with you, with all of this green, I'm looking for the top so I can get a put. Dang, she is on fire. <laughs> she is on fire. All right. Here we go. Where we at? Where we at? Did we finally find the peak? Did we finally find the peak? Okay, okay, come on now. What do we got? Can I grab the put? Could I grab the put? Look at the volume. You see how it popped up right here like crazy? And now the volume has cooled off a bit, a little bit. But she's still, she's still trying to move. All right. She's still trying to move. Yo, this one is bananas. All right, family. So look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to add something else so you can see which put I'm looking for on the spy. I'm going to send that. Notice, I didn't get in it yet, but once we see it, it might find some resistance. Now that it's all the way up here, it's likely to hit the, I want to say, 468 four, or 470, and then find a lot of resistance. I'm not saying it's going to turn around there, because the all-time high is about, uh, let's see, let me just double check what the all-time high is on the SPY. 473, 473. So that's going to be a major resistance, but if it breaks to that resistance, family... Crazy. Crazy. You say you sold your square, your SQQQ put. You know them are the SQQ <laughs> running in reverse. You say you hate that you jumped out of Palantir is pushing. Yeah, Palantir. P L T R. Shout out to Palantir. But hold up, let's go back to Spy. All right, family, maybe, maybe we found a, a peak. We've been waiting.
Maybe we find a peak, and then I can show you a day trade put. If not a day trade, maybe a week. So let's go. But the thing about the SPY, SPY is great to day trade. I want you to really understand this. SPY is great to day trade. Theta on SPY is usually high. So you got to really look for that. Theta on the SPY is usually, usually high. And we ain't, we ain't necessarily into that. All right. SPY. Options. Put options. After all of this running, this thing has to come down some. And they say this, there's a saying on the stock market that the market could remain irrational longer than you could remain liquid, meaning that you're going to run out of uh, run out of money before things start really making sense. So remember that. Let's see. All right. So Discord fam, this is another one that I'm looking at right now at this very moment. I'm going to post it to the watch list for you. For a day trade, if you want to be on the options plays with us or anything like that, or see what I'm talking about, Discord link is in the top. You said AMC is pushing? So yeah, I'm not in this one yet. I'm speaking about it live, but this is the one that has my eye. Every time that I share it to the Discord, it, it leaves me. All right, so let's go back. So look, a lot of the volume is selling, selling pressure right here. So there we go. So then it puts on the spy. See if I can ride this wave. Let me look at the date on that. It's still showing a lot of strength. And the RSI cooled off. It did it finally cooled off. Right here. That's a lot of upward pressure, though. Look at that. And then it finally just got under 70. It's at 65 right now. So that means it has the potential to still go up if it if people start buying. But I'm looking at this put option. Also, remember, though, so many people are going to wake up and then see this all of a sudden. That they're going to think to themselves, like, yo, it's really, it's really time to get in the spot. Yep, believe it or not, she's still pumping, family. She's still, but the RSI has cooled off. That's what we like to see. Let's see. Also, let's see AMC. Has AMC Pat? Yo, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> you said all your stocks are green? Family, it's a good day. And look at this. Astra. We just picked Astra up in the um in the eights. And now it's in the nines. We love to see it, baby. We love to see it. We love to see it. Now again, I didn't get into the spy put yet. It's still showing strength. It just retraced. Straight up. It retraced, and it might, believe it or not, SPY might try to break 
this for another bullish indicator right here. Show us what you got, spy. Show us what you got. Show us what you got. AMC is pumping too for a, a solid. Look at that. Solid. Apple pump back up above that resistance. You said when the AMC NFT is coming out? Great question. So they didn't really give a date for when it's coming out, but it must be 2022. Why? For the for, oh Pfizer's running. You said Apple better than the spy put. You could you could argue that. You could argue that because it's an individual company. <laughs> My guy said, "Bro, where's the hype that I learned to love? Family, we focusing right now. We focused." That's what time it is now. We looking to see where is the money to be made. That's what we talking about. So I do want to. I, oh, I see. I see some. I see some bangers. I see some bangers. Oh, shout out to Lucid for coming down even more. Lucid is on a downtrend, family. Lucid is on a downtrend. It's looking like it's headed, and it is bouncing off of the forty-four. Palantir, yo, let's go. Let's see what's up, Spy. Are you going to break that or not? Let us know. <laughs> spy, let us know in the comments. <laughs> let us know in the comments. He said, get my notepad. You're right. <laughs> Do you think Spy will come down to the 50s again? It can. And if you know if we see it down there, that's where we like it. So, look, I'm not in a Spy put. I'm, I watched it on the retracement, but it shows strength. So, I didn't jump in a put. You got to make sure that you remember stuff like that. Spy is, is really going for it. The the it's look it's looking like it's going for uh 470 family. It's looking like it's going for 470. It broke the thing again. Shout out to the spy. Pumping. Pump. We love to see it. We love to see it. Let's yo, come on, spy. We love to see it. But, again, that doesn't mean, because eventually it's going to have to come back down. That's, but you never want to bet too long against the spy. Just know that. Never. But we got a top here. Are we looking at a double top situation? Double top means boom, boom, and then it could come down. But it doesn't look like a, a clean one. It looks like it still wants to pump. But let's leave this alone for now. Astra. Let's look at the options on Astra. They got them on the 17th. I was looking at this one yesterday, which was uh, is up 22% from that, from the watch list yesterday on the Discord. Now, Disney is another one that I put on the watch list, but I didn't get in it yet because we want to get in it at an optimum price. All right. Now that the SPY has broken above this level, family, I, to be honest with you, I would be, I'd be literally shocked if it didn't go test the, what was it? Woo, look at that. If it didn't go and test the, yo, I got to switch over to Discord Live, family. I got to switch over. If you want to be up on the Discord, hit the Discord link in the top of the chat, family. We got to go over there and we got to see what we can make happen, family. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Hit the like button on your way out. We trying to make some money. Let's see what we got. I see you on a Discord live. The link for the Discord is in the description. It's in the top of the chat. I love y'all. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, I need you to stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Let's get it. I appreciate y'all again. I see you on a Discord live. Take care. I'm out, baby.